So, um, in your presentation today, um, you gave very concrete examples of what society should be doing to improve the quality of our air. What are they? Absolutely. We are all concerned by reducing air pollution. It's not only the problem of politicians, we have to say, but politicians have a very important role because they have to tighten standards to reduce air pollution. They can contribute to implement local actions to reduce traffic, for example, to provide more public transportation, to provide other um, ways of uh, moving in the city. We have examples in Paris with the Velib, you know perhaps about it. It has a big, big success and uh, they can do this. They can also uh, reduce dependency to fuel energies. We can diversify uh, the energies we use and politicians have to do that, really. But all other people have to do this things to reduce air pollution. We have um, the um, health professionals that are in the first line in contact with vulnerable people that are the more affected by air pollution and they can learn more about air pollution and how to protect patients from air pollution and they can also contribute to reduce air quality, air pollution uh, in uh, the cities, helping the urban planners to design environments with fewer allergens, with fewer air pollution. They can do that and it is our duty as public health professionals to help them better, be being better informed about air pollution health effects and so they can implement those actions. And as for the rest of us, we can do a lot of things to reduce air pollution. We can also be aware of the energy we consume, we can uh, use public transportations, we can walk, which is very, very good for our heart, we can drive uh, cycles, we can cycle, and we, we really don't need to drive every time for everything we do.